That is very awesome. Okay, next up is another one just kind of blows your mind as well. It's called Project Deep Fill. Uh, essentially, again, uses Adobe Sensei, fills in an image. I'm not even going to talk anymore about it. Please welcome Jai Wei Yu. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Jai Wei. And today, I will introduce some image hole filling technologies. As you all know, that Photoshop already has a very powerful image hole filling tool called Content Will Fill, which can be used to remove distracting objects or undesired regions in an image to make it nicer. It works well in most cases, but my case here is quite complicated. Here, I have a side fire. So I want to remove this region here because of the annoying alchemy. So I mask the region here. And let's see how content will feel can give us. Well, <laughs> now I have one, two, three, four, four, four eyes now. I can see you clearly. <laughs> uh, the main reason for this failure is because the content will feel does not try to understand the image. And it's only relying on copying the surrounding areas, the surrounding pixels, into the hole. And we believe a good image hole filling system should be able to understand the face and fill the nose with the nose, not the eyes or mouth or something else. So to bridge this gap and solve these really challenging image hole filling problems, we introduced the project DeepFill. We leverage the power of Adobe Sensei, deep learning, deep neural networks, and develop the DeepFill that can understand the image. Here, let's see how it performs. I press the DeepFill button. And yes, it can. <laughs> what if we mask the entire eyebrow? Can deep fill return us a new one? Well, let's try it. Here I mask the eyebrow. Oh, let's, let's see content will fill first. Well, <laughs> this time it copies the mouse into the location of the nose. And let's see the deep fill. Well, it can successfully hallucinate a new eyebrow for you. So, <laughs> we know that DeepFill works on faces. But in more cases, people travel around the world and take photos and find some people you want to remove. For example, <laughs> this one, in my case. <laughs> Here, I take a photo in British Canyon National Park. Well, it's a wonderful arc, beautiful weather. But I find some two people on the top. So what I'm going to do is I take the photo, and I mask the region here. OK, let's see. Again, content will feel first. Well, this image is quite high resolution. Well, this one looks visually realistic, but it's not semantically correct, because it's not arc anymore. So with our deep fill, by the way, we can, multiple, we can mask multiple regions and hallucinate it in one shot. Let's see it. And yes, this is the deep fill. <laughs> one more thing. Given the deep fill, users still have no control over what the deep fill will fill in this master region. Of course, we can provide multiple solutions for users to choose. But what if we can draw some simple sketches like this one? Here is another wonderful arc. And I want to create some unique features like this. I mask the region here. I want to draw a heart. I select the sketch tool, and I draw a heart here. Well, I'm not good at drawing here <laughs> with mouse. Oh, it's the best heart I can do now. <laughs> so with the deep fill, let's see how it forms. And yes. <laughs> this is the AI-powered, user-guided image hole filling technology, Project Deep Fill. Thanks. I don't, I don't really understand how it works. It's yeah. really, really impressive. Uh, 
Wow. Yes. How does it, so, so it's able to understand, differentiate between faces and landscapes and... Yes, because this project is based on the Adobe Sensei and deep learning technologies. So it, millions of real-world images are used to train this model. So it can understand yeah. what's going on. It can understand the background of the image. Yeah. Yeah, so oh. it understands the image. I think it's uh, like... So sen the na sensei is the name of the deep learning? Yes. <laughs> We're happy you said that. It's actually so much more than that. So part, uh, it's basically powers this deep learning and a lot of AI searching image understanding. Like it recognized that those are eyes. Yeah. And you said like hallucinate, like it'll hallucinate that image. It understands the image if it's maybe pulling from another image or data from the photo. It'll Expert. Oh, thanks. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. It's magic to me, man.